Okay, this is Jay Harris again with Infinity Box, and in this video, I want to continue the conversation about the advanced troubleshooting and diagnostic features that are built into our Infinity Box system. Specifically, I want to talk about the master cell and how it can pull all of the other cells in the system. And we talk about polling, that's the master cell asking all the cells how they're doing and letting them report back the information that's really important to those cells. So in a previous video, I showed you how you could press the home button, and that brings up an inventory of all the cells on the Infinity Box network. And in this case, for this example, I have a master cell at A0, a power cell at A1, and a power cell at A2. And in most systems, A1 would be your front power cell, and A2 would be your rear. What I can do is I can hit the home button, I can scroll down to A1 and press select. And when I do that, the master cell is asking or polling the power cell how it's doing. And it's reporting back that its battery volts is 12.7 volts. The temperature is 22 degrees C. And that CP delta, or that charge pump, that's an indication of a circuit inside the power cell that we use to safely turn the outputs on and off. That's a number that you don't necessarily need to worry about, but it's something that we track internally and the master cell tracks to make sure that cell is healthy. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to hit home, scroll down to A1, and press select. The other important thing there is the nodes at the bottom of the screen. And if you look, there are 10 digits. And those digits can either be a 0 or a 1. And from left to right, those correspond to outputs 1 through 10 on a power cell. So in this case, when I pulled that power cell, all of those digits were 0, which means that each of those power cell outputs are off. Now what I can do is I can, from the master cell, turn on input number one. And I have this in messaging mode, so it's displaying that input number one is controlling power cell A1 and output number one. Now if I hit home again and scroll down to A1 and press select, you can see now that the first digit, which corresponds to output one, that's a one, which means that that power cell output is on. So without even looking at the power cell from the master cell screen, I can get an indication of what each of the outputs on the power cell is doing. So I'm going to turn that switch off. I have it in messaging mode, so master cell says, I just saw input one turn off. I'm going to hit the home button, scroll down to A1 again, and press select. And you'll now see that that first digit is a zero, so the power cell output is off. And again, this is a very powerful tool to help you understand what's going on with your inputs and outputs. I can do the same thing for that second power cell. I can scroll down to A2. I can press select, and there I see the voltage, the temperature, and that CP delta, which is an internal measurement we look at. And I can also see that every output is off. Now, the master cell can also pull itself. If I hit the home button and I just select A0, that's going to give me a switch states screen. So there are 48 different digits on the screen, and they can either be a 0 or a 1. And what this is telling me, it's telling me the state of all of the switches on that master cell. So if I hit home again, press select, I see they're all 0. So that means from the master cell's perspective, every switch is off. But now, I'm going to let the screen cancel out. If I turn input 1 on, it's in messaging mode, so the master cell displays that. And after that goes away, I can hit the home button, select A0, and I can see that first digit right there, which corresponds to input number one, that's a one. So in the master cell's mind, it's seeing switch number one turned on. If I turn the switch off, since I'm in messaging mode, it displays that it saw a change on input one. And if I go back and hit home, select a zero, you can see that first digit is a zero. So I can at any point in time go to the master cell, pull the master cell itself, and see the state of all the switches that could be connected to the master cell. This is going to help you troubleshoot and diagnose any issues with your switches. It's also going to help you make sure that you have your switches connected to the right inputs on the master cell. So this is just another example of a very powerful troubleshooting and diagnostic feature that's built right into the Infinity Box system. There are no separate tools, 
no scanners, no readers that you need to understand what's going on with your electrical system. If you have questions, give our team a call. You can get us at 847-232-1991, or you can get to our website at www.infinitybox.com. If you like these videos, please subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified when we post more. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.